Hi, I'm Jason Haygood with OP5, and welcome to OP5 Monitor. This is the first video in our series, Taking Control of Your IT Environment. And you are now just steps away from having a truly scalable and unified monitoring solution. In this video, I will be guiding you through the installation of the OP5 virtual appliance for Windows and Linux. Now, if by chance you're looking for one of the other videos in this series, please follow the link provided below. So with that said, let's jump right into it, shall we? Okay, first things first. You should already have downloaded the virtual appliance package for OP5 Monitor, and the next step is to get it installed. The virtual appliance is used with hypervisors such as VMware or VirtualBox. Other hypervisors that support OVF file import may also work. For this instance, we are going to use VMware ESXi version 6. Now, we've packaged the appliance to include OP5 Monitor running on CentOS 6. This is the easiest and quickest way to get started. After the appliance has been downloaded, open your hypervisor and then unzip and deploy the OP5 Monitor file. Next, you will simply start the virtual machine. And once started, the server will get the DHCP address shown in the console for OP5. For more detailed steps for installing the virtual appliance, please follow the link below. Once installed, we can access OP5's main interface using any web browser. For this instance, we're going to use Chrome. Let us open our web browser and navigate to the network's OP5 IP, or hostname. Now, if by chance you see a warning when first launching the web GUI, don't panic. This warning is not an issue with the OP5 application, as OP5 Monitor ships by default with self-signed SSL certificates, a common practice when deploying any new web service that is secured via SSL. The warning page can safely be skipped using your browser by adding an exception. For Chrome, click Advanced, then proceed to the site. Next, you will see the OP5 portal page. In the virtual appliance version, the web-based system configuration tool can be used to set the IP address, host name, mail gateway, etc. To enter the configuration tool, click on the Configure System tab on the top menu. You will then see the request to enter Root's password. By default, the password is Monitor. A couple best practices that we recommend when initially setting up the virtual appliance is to set your correct time and configure the network settings to a static IP address. To set the time, click the Time tab on the right and enter your information in the boxes titled Select Continent slash Country and Select Area. Once completed, simply click Apply. To set the static IP, click the Network tab on the right, then click on the word Static, corresponding to ETH0. You then will be asked to enter in your desired IP address, NetMask, and Gateway for your server. Click Apply to complete. To return to the main portal page, click the Start tab at the top. In the bottom left corner is the OP5 Monitor button. Simply click and then we will enter the username and password. Finally, before we can start adding equipment, you may require a particular agent to be installed on the device, such as either NS Client++ for Windows or NRPE for Linux. Once you download NS Client++, just run the setup wizard and select the OP5 version. Remember to allow your server to query the agent. While NRPE is done with the slash etc slash nrpe.conf under the allowed host options. Please note that OP5 already contains some pre-configured items within RPE. You can also use SNMP for both Windows and Linux environments. Enabling SNMP on your equipment may differ from device to device, so please refer to your device's manual for assistance. The required agents can be downloaded from the OP5 website's agent page. And that's it. You have successfully installed OP5 Monitor and just completed the first step in taking control of your IT environment. In the next video of our series, I will be guiding you through the initial configuration of OP5 Monitor and adding a device. Now, remember, if you need any additional assistance or have any additional questions, you can always reach us by email at cr at op5.com or 
go to op5.com and reach us directly there. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you again soon.